Hey yo, football fans, it's another the great year. Yep. Fantasy football fiends, grab your beer. Uh. Giving you the best draft tips for all your picks. Starts and sits to the wave of wide fix. Woo. For my grabs galore, the stats that's hardcore. Triple F does it all, have y'all screaming more. So sit back, relax, let the experts prevail. JT Magnum, Siggy Guns never fail. What's up? Fantasy football fans, my name is JT Magnum here along with Siggy Guns and welcome to the last edition of our rankings. It's the defenses, our top 20 defenses and uh, let's get right into it. At number 20, I have Indianapolis, the New York Giants, Pittsburgh Steelers, Baltimore Ravens, Jacksonville Jaguars, Buffalo Bills, Washington Redskins, Minnesota Vikings, New England Patriots, and Oakland Raiders. And I'll talk about the Vikings. This defense was phenomenal last year. They're only going to get better. They got a, they got a good secondary. A, ridiculously good defensive line and and inside of linebackers they gave seattle absolute fits last year in that game should have won that game if it wasn't for a missed field goal they would have moved on to the um <clears throat> into the playoffs and faced that carolina panthers team but they didn't get a chance because of that missed field goal but but still i think they're i think they're going to be even better more improved this year and now with news with Teddy Bridgewater out, they're going to have to even more improve because i don't know who minnesota is going to start obviously they have Sean Hill as their backup at the moment but who knows if Minnesota is going to sign another quarterback? What they're going to do, but that defense is going to need to step up, step up even more. And they have a they have a really good young linebacker core. That's what I like, and and I see them doing great things this year. They also still have uh, Cordero, uh, Cordero, Cordero Patterson, who can run kickoff returns and do uh, pretty much anything with punt returns and like that. So they're always a threat to do that as well. So he, they can get you they can get you some scores this year. I think they might do that, and they can definitely get you some sacks. So who you got through your 20 yep. through uh, 11? 20 through 11, I got Miami, Jacksonville, Indianapolis, Oakland, Washington, Baltimore, Philadelphia, Green Bay, New England, and Pittsburgh, uh, Pittsburgh at number 11. Now I'm going to talk about the Patriots. Obviously, if you saw the preseason game, they had three interceptions in like the first few um, possessions. I mean, right away, that New England defense has grown up pretty quick and – New England, that was always the question with the Patriots is how was their defense? You know, they're so young the last few years. And now it seems like they might have it all together, and that might be pretty scary for the rest of the league because obviously the offense, even though Brady's out four games, is not going to go anywhere as long as Brady and Belichick is there. So I think the New England defense is going to surprise a lot of people. They used to be a pick that was always a sexy pick to pick, you know, in years past with fantasy, and I think they might be back to that. Definitely, yeah. They just they, they lose players but still plug them in. They get rid of players, yep. release them. Big name players sometimes, and, and trade them, and they still plug in guys that just do amazing. That yep. system is just—it's just crazy. I know it's crazy. Yeah. Um, my <laughs> my ten through one are Green Bay, Houston, New York Jets, Los Angeles Rams, Kansas City Chiefs, Cincinnati Bengals, Arizona Cardinals, Carolina Panthers, Seattle Seahawks, and the Denver Broncos still at number one. And I'll talk about Seattle at number two. Um, <laughs> This is a team that just, they still have the LOB. They still have that defensive line. They got that, they got the, they just have a sick defense. They can get to the quarterback at almost any time they want to. They have linebackers that can cover tight ends, that can cover, they have linebackers that can cover wide receivers. Um, they have, of course, the LOB that get, that gets turnovers. And then, of course, defense and special teams it is, they have Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett can run back punt returns and kick returns almost at any time. And now with the NFL doing a lot less kicking, they're not going to, if you ha if you kick the ball uh, to a touchback, you get it at the 25 yard line. So you're going to see a lot more kicks and a lot more opportunities for Tyler Lockett to run it back. And he is dangerous. So I like them a lot. I, I they're probably one of the first defenses that should go off the board just for that factor alone that they can score off special teams. I agree. My ten through one, the New York Jets. I had them pretty low. Huh? Minnesota, Los Angeles, Cincinnati, Houston. Kansas City, Denver, Arizona, Seattle, and Carolina is number one, more so because of the schedule. And I'm going to talk about Denver. I have them as four with no quarterback, however. I just do not see the uh, offense being on the field that long, and I think the defense is going to get pretty tired real quick. So that is the main concern I have about Denver's defense. A lot of people have been picking them solely on what they did in the playoff run last year. But before the playoff run, they were a frustrating defense if you had them because some weeks they were excellent. Some weeks it seemed like they were non-existent. So that Jekyll and Hyde defense, I'm kind of scared because now they have no offense. And I'm worried that it's going to be like what people felt Carolina was last year, which if you had Carolina two years ago, they were awesome. And then last year you expected the same thing. 
And there were games where they were like, well, well, this isn't Carolina's defense I wanted to draft. So just be careful with Denver's defense, I guess is the better way to say it. Because it seems like Kansas City, Denver, and Carolina, they're always up there in the end. But when you have them, it doesn't feel like they're a top defense. (laughs) Have you ever been frustrated defense? Oh, man, Kansas City, too. That's another one also last year. They got a lot of of touchdowns. I know with Marcus Peters and then their days where they were suck. Mm -hmm. Denver was probably the most consistent. Minus a couple couple games like against Pittsburgh, they kind of messed up and. There was a couple games here and there, and Seattle even had a couple games of elapses against Arizona. They had a couple games like that where yeah. they were just giving up points and stuff like that. But, but for the most part, with Tyler Lockett, it changes everything because the dude just runs back kicks and stuff. It's just, it's, oh, yeah. it's those teams that you gotta, you know, you just never know. But there's always a breakout team that will just all of a sudden just do well. So we'll see what happens. Who's that team this year? Um, my my, I think it's the Rams. That's who I think is going to be the breakout team this year for defense. But we'll see. But thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. The next Fantasy Football Fiends video will actually be the Stardom Sidham Show. That will be Tuesday, September 6th. That's before the season starts, on, uh, I believe, on September 8th on a Thursday. Um, Stardom and Sidham should be out every Tuesday. You'll, you'll be able to see it. I'm still debating whether or not to do the live show. Uh, if I can do the live show, um, hopefully I should be able to do that. If so, it'll be on Saturdays at some point. At a time that I will tell you guys because I'm not sure of what's going on with my job schedule and everything. But if you need to have questions answered, you can always find us on Twitter at JTMagnum underscore 816 and at Siggy V on Twitter. We're always around. We will try to get to them as best we can or leave them in the comment section. We'll get to those as best we can. Uh, If we don't get to them, check out the website www.magnumsportsnetwork.com. You can check updated rankings there or starts and sits there. Also, we are now a DraftKings partner affiliate. I forgot to mention that. This is the last video, but I will mention that now. We will be doing DraftKings, um, um, not starts and sits, but well, starts and sits for DraftKings, but that will be on the website. Um, you'll see the changes as they come along during the season, but we're trying to keep these videos short, quick, and nice for you guys so you guys don't have to sit there for 30 minutes watching us blab away about our, 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 our you know, our rankings and, and starts and sits, and you can actually get what you need, get your info you need quickly, and then you can go to where you got to go or ask who you got to ask to get more information all right so for fantasy football fiends jt magnum siggy guns we out y'all see you soon and best of luck in the upcoming fantasy football season all right peace yep peace